Um, tonight, I'm not going to talk about Yakuza or death or violence or sex or any of the things I usually talk about um, because it gets kind of repetitious. Um, I'm an investigative journalist. Um, I usually write about dark things. Tonight, I want to talk about Japan's favorite pussy. Um, <laughs> Because I thought it would be more edifying. Uh, Maya, that, that's the wrong slide. Could, could, we, could we have that changed? Um, Japan has a special word for lucky pussy. Um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with it. Um, it refers, to, of course, to everybody's favorite cat, the Maneki Uh You can see there's the little cat there. This is the cat that brings good luck, the invitational cat. This is from a place called Gotokuji, which is close to Shimokitazawa Station. This is the inspiration for one of Japan's most well-known comic book characters and merchandising things, Hello Kitty. Um, Hello Kitty means like maneki neko. Uh, it welcomes. This is Hello Kitty's Guide to Japan in English and Japanese. It's a kind of controversial book. Why is it controversial? Because Hello Kitty, whose real name is Kitty White, is supposed to be from England not Japan. But when this book was published, Hello Kitty is clearly from Japan and her boyfriend, Dear Daniel, is visiting from the United States. <laughs> She's wearing a kimono. It's kind of a heresy in the Hello Kitty world. Um, Sanrio was quite upset about it when I asked them. I would say that it was a kind of a kitten-sized controversy. Here is Dear Daniel visiting Hello Kitty's house. She's telling him to take off his shoes. This is his last appearance in the book. <laughs> Without any explanation, there's no goodbye, Daniel. There's nothing, no explanation of what he did wrong. We just have the funeral. I'm terribly sorry about what happened. And then there's a wonderful guide to how to register for a funeral and how to take the salt and throw it at the person so you purify them as you're leaving. Um, really a, a wonderful guide to Japan. And, uh, and you can see why Hello Kitty is, is so beloved. This is a guide to all of the lucky spots in Tokyo. Japanese are, people are very superstitious. I shouldn't generalize, but they, they are fairly superstitious. This is a guidebook to places you can go to, to bring yourself good luck. There you can see all these kitties here. Um, they're a little different from the usual cats you see in storefronts because they don't have money with them. This is Hello Kitty's guide to all the lucky spots and shrines in Tokyo, but suspiciously, Gotokuji, which is supposedly the home of the lucky cat, is not listed in this book. I, I don't know whether it's a conspiracy, I don't know whether Sanrio is trying to hide the roots of Hello Kitty, but she's not there. This is Gotokuji, it's on the Odakyusen, um, it's two or three stations past Shimokitazawa, and this is originally where the lucky cat comes from. So I'm going to tell you the story of the lucky cat as best as I can remember it without looking at my notes. Um, and so you'll know why the cat symbolizes good luck. This is the front of, uh, this is the path to the temple as you leave the station. And I'm just going to ignore the slides and talk a bit here. A, a long, long time ago, uh, around 1650 in Japan, there was a Buddhist priest running a little dilapidated, temp dilapidated temple called Gotokuji in the Shimogitazawa area. He was very poor. He didn't have any money. Uh, he was a Zen Buddhist priest, and, and, and his school of Zen Buddhism wasn't very popular in Japan because it was the one that asked you to answer ridiculous riddles to achieve enlightenment, like what is the sound of one hand clapping, which is actually slapping someone in the face. That's the sound of one hand clapping. <laughs> or what is abenomics, or why is Japan uh, uh, such a great place to build nuclear reactors when it's full of earthquakes, things like that. Um, if you can solve those, you get enlightenment. Anyway, a group of passing samurai were coming by the temple. And one of the samurai saw the cat waving at them as they were starting to rest. And of course, the samurai thought to himself, this is a were-pussy. Because apparently in Japan, cats change themselves into people, menacing entities. So he tried to kill the cat. Um, but the Buddhist priest said, don't kill the cat. It's bad to kill any animals, especially in front of a Buddhist temple. So the samurai came into the temple, and they had a chat. And while they were chatting, suddenly great rain and thunder and lightning poured from the sky. And the samurai couldn't leave. He and his cotillion stayed in the temple talking to the priest. Um, and the priest gave them a lecture on Buddhism and karma and doing good and not killing and all those things. And the, the samurai listened very bored and they drank bitter tea. And then eventually the rain cleared up and the samurai left. 
And when he left, where they had parked their horses um, and tied the horses to a tree, the tree had been hit by lightning and the ground was scorched, the horses were still alive, and the samurai thought to himself, wow, this is a sign of, of Buddha's grace. And he went back to the priest and said, my name is um, Inausuke, and I am a lord of this era, and I am going to grant you great fortune and rice fields and lots of gifts because your cat saved my life. And because the cat saved the guy's life and the Buddhist priest who had, who had really loved this cat and told the cat once, if you really are grateful for all I'm doing for you, bring me some good luck. Um, the cat became a symbol of good luck uh, and is enshrined at the temple. And if you go there and you write your name on these little, not emma, not like horse votive tablets, but ones with cats on them, um, and supposedly your wishes will come true. And one of the other things that's very popular there is to buy these little figurines of the cats, and there are many of them. And when your wishes come true, you have to take them back to the temple and say, thank you for, uh, thank you great pussy for bringing me such good luck. Um, I myself have made many trips to this temple because there is nothing more important in a man's life than lucky pussy sometimes. <laughs> and on that note, um, thank you and goodbye. <laughs>